Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here today. It was Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. This is going to be a um, um, video recap. Uh, I deleted my trading videos because personally they suck. I was wrong. They suck. And therefore, I um, really don't want to have you overlook something that, that uh, I could have traded better. Or stand, I should have stood aside. I actually was up eight ticks at one point in this session, just like I was yesterday. But when I saw a volume figure kick in today, Pacific, specifically this number right here at 10:41, I thought the 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 gig the the gig is up and uh, the jig the jig is up and we're heading down from here. And this is where I. Um, I, I betted the uh, the boat a little bit right in this area, and I lost. Um, I really believe that this market here, here, once it went down and through here, we were going to go down, and it just defied gravity and defied logic and defied everything that I believe in, and it happens. I mean, there's, it's it's a, I I. I could have easily walked away with a lot less of a loss, but you know, I felt as though the market was was setting up a bull trap today, and then it was going to trade down, kind of like it did in the previous. So, I used some of the trading knowledge that I had in my past to to trade this. But once it broke above this area right here, 62.30, and I thought, well. And then I said, if it gets above 62.55, you know, I kept, you know, and honestly, what I did is I ignored some of the things. Now, once it broke through here, this makes sense. This was the high, and we broke through, and this was all of the, the buying right through here. This should have been my last attempt at the market when I took this trade on. And maybe I would have been down like minus 4 or minus 14 or or somewhere around there, even minus 20 something would have been better. But I went down minus 42 ticks today trying to catch, you know, this move here that didn't want to come back down. It, it just kept fighting, kept fighting, kept fighting. And I don't know what to say. I mean, sometimes you're wrong. I mean, and maybe my humbleness was not as humble as I should have been. I should have walked away. I actually had a winning day today. I was up plus eight ticks on the, in the morning, and then that's the closest. The uh, first two trades were winners, and um, I, I was able to stay uh, green. But then once I saw this kick in over here, wherever it was, I mean all day long. Yeah, this once I saw this kick in. You know, more times than not, I'm going to win this day. I'm going to win this day that shows this kind of volume on the short side. I, I, I just know, you know, my odds of success are about 80 to 85 percent once I, I see a volume figure that is a skyscraper to the other side. And there's nothing on either side of that that shows on red. So the blue, there's nothing on the other side that shows this. Um, so these are the type of days that I'm going to win more than not, um, eight, eight, 80, 85 percent of the time. And I'm going to just going to win them. I'm going to win them big. So um, the market would not sell off, though, that it was supported the whole damn way. And maybe it's just a new logic that I've got to look at now that that. Uh, no, I, you know, the logic of this market is, is, is this is a bull trap. This is a classic bull trap move right through here. They're trapping the longs in here, and this is a very weak longs. This is this. I'm going to stick to my guns here. These are very weak longs up here uh, that are they're going long at this level up here. This market is in a dire need of a correction. Dire need of a correction. It's going to happen, and it's going to be violent, and I'm going to pick it up. And when it that does happen, I'm going to win that damn day, and it's going to be beautiful. So when it does happen, it's going to reward very handsomely to come back down here. Right now, the market could easily fall three to four to five dollars 
once it does start falling. Hopefully, as a day trader, I'll be able to pull a two, a three dollar win in one day. That's kind of the goal here. When it does fall, hopefully it falls. Uh, so it's this. This might be the last push up before we see the downward movement. So, long story short, I stick to my guns. I believe that this this whole move today was on smoke and mirrors and bullshit. So, it's going to fall. It's going to retrace. Most likely, it's going to come back down here to the sixty dollar a barrel. Uh, does it go to sixty five before it sees sixty? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt that we see much higher than where we are right now um, in the near, just right now before we see a retracement. I really believe we're going to come down here and retrace in this area right here around the $60 a barrel. And then it's going to make up its mind. Does it want to go up or does it want to go down? So I'm sticking to my guns. This whole move up here is nothing but a huge Fibonacci retracement to me. And I'll keep trying to short this market all the way up and if I lose so be it I lose but this whole move has got to come back down at some point I got to find a better entry point that is you know maybe if I would have stuck here the thing that kind of pisses me off is I'm sitting back thinking all right if we get to 6313 then I just want to short that right there and then if I would have waited for that market instead of trying to catch it all the way through here, 6309 and all the other entries that I've made. If I'd have stuck to my guns and said, you know, once it makes it to the GAN number at 137.5 degree angle, then short the damn thing. You know, I would have stood a better chance of catching the market. Now, whether it would have been a loss or a win, it, it would have taken me out. But at least I would have stood a better chance at trying to catch this market. So... Um, it is what it is, man. Some days, no matter, you're, you can have the best trading strategy in the world. You can trade it to your best ability. But if the market doesn't want to move with you, then it's, it's, it's worthless. So today, the market decided that I'm wrong and everything that I think is wrong. It doesn't mean that my logic is wrong. It just means that today, everything that I thought of defies the logic, defies gravity, and it's just one of those days that if I could have recognized it earlier, I would, could have stood aside at this and not taken a loss on this trading day. This is a day that, that you know, it was coming. I knew that, that, that I'm, I was going to have one of these days that I'm going to give up the ghost a little bit and trade poorly. I don't feel that I traded poorly. I think the markets decided to, that I had enough gains and that I needed to give some of it back. Now I've got to settle in. I've got the inventory report. If this would not be tomorrow's inventory report, I would take off the next day. If I lose the inventory report, I will not trade most likely Thursday and Friday of this week. Or I will, or I don't know what I'm going to do. But what I know is, is hopefully January 10th, I stop the the bloodshed that just went on today so it, it's just a matter in the end where am i i'm basically right back to where i was starting the year off so you know you gotta give some back i mean that's just the way it is you you, you, you know to be a trader there's the good there's the bad there's the there's the ugly there's the, your opinion and then there's the market's opinion the market is a fact the market shows Every trader that has an opinion, it shows that you're wrong at times. There's no way around it. There's no way to get through it. You're going to be wrong. And, and you're going, you know, I, I was very strong in what I believed. And I still will stay strong in what I believe. More times than not, I'll win these trading days. Not today. Today, the market, I could have been a little bit more patient on my interest. So can I learn something from today? Oh, damn right, can I learn something. But let me tell you something. There was not a long signal at all. At any point during this trading day, there was not one long signal. It was all built on smoke and mirrors. And it looks like to me, and I'm going to tell you what it is, it's nothing more 
than the short people coming into the trade market today to drive up this fucking price to bring it down and they're going to bring it down hard. I firmly believe that I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but at some point they're going to drive the son of a gun all the way back down. They are allowing the market to go up right now, but when it does fall, it's going to fall and it's going to fall hard and God protect me. Hopefully that I can see it a little bit better tomorrow and when it does happen or if it's going to be long tomorrow then i catch the long i get back some of my loss get back above a thousand and then worry about the rest of the day i just can't allow one trading day to affect the rest of my trading sessions it's going to happen i'm going to have days that just get away from me um i use my trading gains to try to stay in this trade today and try to catch it it did not work out and I'm not going to make any, I'm, I'm leaving the comments. You can comment all to your heart's content. But I firmly believe that how I traded the day was the correct and right way to go about it. I was wrong on entry. I'm not wrong on opinion and belief. It decided when it wanted to go. I could have been more patient if I would have waited, if I would have waited, if I would have waited. I still would have lost today. I still would have lost this trading day. So no matter what happened, this day was one of those days that just did not work out the way that I view the markets. That's it. That's all I got to say about today. I, I, I'm, I don't know what to say other than, you know, some days you're wrong. Some days you're right. Try to keep your right high and try to keep your wrong low. Today, the market proved to me that I'm wrong. That's it. That's all I got to say about today. God bless. Take care. I'll see you in the next video I put together. Bye for now.